Oh, what up, fellas? Tune in to WDBL, the true interview. You'll see Ash, Kelvin, and Wilden. <laughs> Well, we are back with True Interview. We have the Social Work Club in the house. Welcome, ladies. We have Shannon, Alyssa, and Jill. So can you guys explain for us what is Social Club? Well, well give us a little introduction of yourselves. Uh, my name's Jill. I'm the treasurer of Social Work Club. I'm a junior social work major with a minor in sociology, and I hope to be a CPS worker one day. Okay. I'm Alyssa. I'm the events coordinator. I basically put all the events, like the one we have coming this Sunday, Haircuts for Hope, I put all those together. I'm a sophomore, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and I want to work with adoption one day, I think. We'll see, you know. So what's your major and your minor? Well, I'm your a major? social work major, and okay. I have a sociology and communication minor. And I'm Shannon. I'm the president of the Social Work Club. And I'm a junior, and I have a double minor in sociology and public health. And I hope to run nonprofit administration once Show I'm off. done. <laughs> and, so, and sociology? Yep. Okay. So how long has the Social Work Club been here in Fredonia? How long has it been constituted? Just give us the background on the actual club itself. Um, I can't give you an exact year, but our <laughs> professors have been here the last 25 years. Mm. And it's been here since they were here, so... So goodness. basically, so almost twenty five years. So longer than our lives. Yeah, seriously. Yeah. <laughs> so we know that you guys do community service. So what types of community service do you guys do actually? Um, we just did the pinwheels for prevention, which was to raise awareness for child abuse prevention. But we do a lot of community service in the community. We do like food drives, clothes collections. Um, we run a group called Compier for um, high functioning mentally ill kids in our community, and we do that about once or twice a month. What's it called again? Compier. It's through like a organization in Chautauqua. Um, we go on like field trips like the old Buffalo Psychiatric Ward. Um, we volunteer at the soup kitchen. We always make cards for the little yeah. ladies at the WCA. Yeah. Oh, that's so at the cute. holidays. They're so sweet. <laughs> yeah, they love it. So how big is your club as of today? How many members do you all have? We like, probably have about like 20 members. Yes. Are they majors or... They're majors, um, but not all. Like, a couple of them are business, like, one's political science. But we're open to everybody, right. but open for the majority in social work majors, but anyone who has a heart for community service. Yeah, just come on and stop by. Yeah. Nice. So, um, do you guys want to explain your positions? Um, I'm the treasurer, so I handle all the finances that we deal with, and I make sure that we have some supplies for... Um, events that we need and have money to go on like field trips and stuff like that okay i'm the events planner so i just plan all these events and try and make them fun and <laughs> all that stuff um i'm the president so i go to all the official meetings and boss everybody around yes she does <laughs> okay miss president okay miss president <laughs> i like that job okay so we heard that you all went to honduras when was it last yeah, spring break or one. this this, this year's spring, spring break, break or last year's spring break? This year. We How were, was that? Oh, we were amazing. up here freezing. <laughs> um, me, Alyssa, and probably about, I don't know, like 12, 15 other members went to Honduras for a week. And um, we actually went with the organization Little Angels of Honduras, which mm -hmm. all the benefits from this Sunday's event are going to go towards. Um, we did a lot of mission work. We helped medical facilities. We went to hospitals. Um, my favorite was when we went to the maternity clinics yeah. with the pregnant ladies and they're sitting there and they can't have like any medicine or any painkillers and one lady she's like literally about to pop and she's just rubbing her belly can you paint my nails like paint her nails <laughs> rubbing her feet, doing her hair they're awesome my favorite part was when we went into the hospitals and I got to hold a newborn baby oh my who, goodness. Was two, who was two days old and um, because little angels, they try to reduce the infant mortality rate in okay. Honduras because it's so large. So for me to be able to like actually see the um, uh, like unproper sanitation that they have right. in any medical facility or hospital that is in Honduras, it just broke my heart because I felt bad because we are so blessed with so right. much in ours. So that was probably my favorite part was to see mothers and babies. So do you all go out, like plan to go out of the country every year, or this was something special? This was my first time out of the country. Okay, it was my first time too. But after going with them, I want to. I have like a list. Like I want to go to Haiti next, so I want to. The that other like areas. Fun. Yeah. Nice. It so is fun. So can you guys explain the event this this, this Sunday? I actually, have sure. two going on. Yeah, this Sunday the social work club's putting together. It's called Haircuts for Hope, 
and it's in Steel Hall from 1 to 4. And basically you come and you pay $5 if you want your hair cut. And my mom's, <clears throat> my mom's hair salon's actually coming. It's um, Salon 96. It's from, like, Alfred, her salon. And they met, like, I don't know if you've ever seen um, What Not to Wear, that show. <laughs> well, Nick Arojo, like, she went to dinner with him, and they do all these palmetto events. So it's it's legit haircuts. Okay, for $5. Yeah, for $5. And the- Wing City is bringing all this food. Free Wing City. Yeah, yeah. free Wing City. I'll take a bad haircut for $5. Yeah, why actually. not? <laughs> why so not? it'll be good quality haircuts, yep. five bucks, in and steel. A so, for. so what does the money go to? Like, what does it? We're going to donate all of the money we um, raise right to the Little Angels of Honduras. So they'll buy all these supplies, and then they'll ship them to Honduras with some mission trips for the mothers and the children. Okay. So what's the other event you have going on that day? Um, the other event is not through my club. It's by Steps and Gorillas, but okay. it's a really good friend of mine. But... Um, Brian O'Reilly was a student here last year, and he graduated, and he has been diagnosed with cancer. So they are doing a Kickin' Vocals benefit concert for him in McEwen. It was kind of thrown together last minute, but it's $2 at the door. They're having raffles and prizes, and um, a lot of the acapella groups are performing and doing some really cool things. So we're hoping just to get some PR out about that. Where in McEwen? Um, 209. 209. At 2 o'clock. So like after you get a haircut, stop by McEwen. Yeah, exactly. that works. Once you get rid of your split ends. <laughs> <laughs> so besides, I guess the semester is winding down. So um, what are the plans for next semester? What events should students be looking out for? Or what are the events you have every year anyway that students usually enjoy? Or like for the local community. Yeah. Um, comp here will happen all again. Every month, uh, like a group of um, members go to and they like spend a couple hours, about three hours on a Saturday with children and they just do um fun games with them try to not make the kids think that it's educational mm-hmm. but like team building and okay. stuff like that yeah hopefully we can continue this haircuts for hope maybe yeah. with like a different organization because this is the first time we've done something like this big so. yeah this is our first major event i became president a couple of years ago and we had like five members in the club yeah. and so <laughs> we're really trying to grow our club and make yeah. it more of a name so we're really working on coming up with some new ideas, new events that other clubs haven't done. So we can't tell you exactly what to expect, but it's going to be something good. Oh, yeah. Actually, I heard you guys have um, a special performance. Yeah, uh, EX is coming in, right? Yeah, Envy Expressions. Oh right. yes, Envy Expressions is performing at 1:30 p.m. tomorrow in Steel Hall, and they're super gross. Yeah. Like, if you haven't seen them, For they're really super awesome. awesome. Yeah. They were here last week, so. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I saw that. That's yeah, pretty cool. Oh, you took that. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Shannon's always on too, man. She's helping out, supporting. <laughs> <She did it. laughs> so the event is. Saturday, Sunday. Sunday. Okay, so EX will be from fun. 1 to 4 mm-hmm. in Steel Hall. Yeah, come out. It'll be awesome. I think you'll raise a lot of money. I think students will be excited about yeah, a cheap haircut. haircut. Yeah, yeah. And there's Free Wing that. City. Like, I know. Yeah. Wing City is good. It is yeah. pretty good. <laughs> and the one is getting nice. Who doesn't want their hair yeah. exactly. all trimmed up? And, and you're, you're helping. You're like helping babies right. in Honduras. So yeah. why not? For five sure. bucks. That yeah. is pretty cool. And there's cool. a basket raffle, so you can win some yeah. cool stuff. Right. Yeah, we've got some really cool baskets oh, yeah, so yeah. far. Oh, you have a couple of them. We have, oh, yeah. We have a bunch. Okay. Nice. Yeah, you guys are to. ready to go, oh, I see. Oh, we're ready. Yeah. Are yeah, we... you getting a haircut? I need one. <laughs> well, what about you? Yeah. I'm, oh, I'm there. I'm on mic is off. I'm sorry. Well, <laughs> <laughs> needs a haircut. Ashley, I think it's time for you to get a big job again. I need a trim these ends real quick <laughs> <laughs> and uh that's why i was like yo because the event is a sunday usually we don't do like then double guests on one show but i'm like we, let's make it happen you know we, make sure we, got here. we yeah. appreciate it so much yeah. this is super awesome no we yeah. appreciate yeah. having you guys on here well we appreciate you guys for coming in Thank and putting you. up with all the technical no. stuff oh, okay. and, uh, sorry to you guys anyone out there listening we are sorry for the technical difficulties. yeah we are sorry usually i don't do this it's calvin's job but he, <laughs> come on calvin come on calvin like, you got make me out here like calvin a rookie. has class requirements that he has to do so you're forgiven. Uh, He's yeah. forgiven. But uh, yeah, let's um, chill. Cause I saw the photo from when you went to Honduras with a little baby holding. Was mm-hmm. was that baby um premature? Um, yes, the baby was born seven months. He was born instead of the normal full nine. Um, he was two days old when I held him, and he was born with an infection that his mom passed on to him. Mm. So yeah, what's really sad there is fifty fifty six percent of the babies they just die waiting for space to open up in the hospitals. Mm-hmm. Like those little what are they called? Incubators. Like incubators. Yeah. 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 They'll have like six babies in one. Like it's only supposed to hold one baby, and then all the infections are spreading. Yeah, so oh my God. it's really sad. And then like forty percent of them die from just poor sanitation just there. So. Even in the hospital, like yeah. not even getting home. So so the, the right. healthiest place, the safest place, is the worst. Right. 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 Yeah, That's so. crazy. That's so, why we're raising money. Yeah. And so now, like, based on your experience, you've been out there. You now, now aren't you like you're very appreciative of what's like, kind of like tell like why uh, people should be appreciative of what's going on in the United States compared to yeah. other other. Right. You should definitely be very appreciative of every single thing that you have because people in Honduras can't even 
they can't even put like toiletries in their toilet like because they don't have like the strong like water system and just I don't, they just it's just a small it's, thing. Yeah, it's just everyone like a thing. appreciate what right. you have. Yeah, yeah. Like and the mothers after have. they give birth, they sit on like mattresses that line the hallways in this hospital yeah. that really looks like an old rundown building. Oh yeah, yeah. they give birth right in the hallway, and that's the yeah. biggest hospital in Honduras. So it's pretty yeah. sad. Oh, that we're a lot more advanced. So come yeah. spend five dollars for a yeah. good haircut. Yeah. Yeah. I think, <laughs> no, I think awesome. anyone would appreciate the work that you guys do. Yeah, really, really, no, really appreciate. Nah, it. it's really awesome because I try to tell people, man, like um. Like uh, other other places, are like you know, they're they're hungry for food and everything, and we here we take advantage of a lot of things, and that's mm-hmm. not even cool, you know. Because yeah. like I said, mm-hmm. when I was in Africa, I didn't really have anything until we got to the United States, you know what I mean? So uh, that's why I could kind of relate to what uh, all those kids are even going through. Yeah, we're spoiled like, here. Like we're here yeah. complaining. Yeah. Oh, like my boyfriend just broke up with me. Like, <laughs> you know, <Over. laughs> like come on, now, like it's something more than that. You Go get a cheeseburger, you'll be okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> <laughs> you know, or so, some Wing City on uh, Sunday. Uh, yeah, right. Good plug. You still you still promoting things. That was good. That's my job. That's my job. I love it. I love it. Uh, so, um, girls, tell um people like uh, something unique about yourself. Like, go pack go. Oh, Alyssa <laughs> is the biggest I, Packers fan in the face of the earth. I'm I a know. psychopath. Like, it's bad. Uh, <laughs> New England. Uh, it's represented in here. Wait, 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 we got New England. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh my god. You like Tom Brady? Yeah. You like when he wears his UGG boots? Listen. Oh. We're not oh, no, 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 no. As an athlete, I love him. Okay, I respect you. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry about the Packers, man. You guys almost came away. Like, uh, I know, yeah. I know. I know you were stinking Seahawks, dude. Everyone loves Seahawks. So. I know it's just like a bandwagon. Yeah, bandwagon. They, they, they I'm go a with the champs. Head. <laughs> um, what are I, the fun facts? You gonna let everybody else go, Will? Or no, Shannon? What's, what's um, a fun fact? About you? Fun fact. Fun fact. I grew up in California, and I have a twin sister. So most people don't know that about me. She doesn't go here. And you, you guys have. Fraterno, right? Yeah, I'm Fraterno. Will was at my 21st birthday party. No one believed that I she was my twin. Up. We looked absolutely yeah, nothing alike. Like, nothing. nothing. It's pretty funny. I was like, man, are you serious? I'm like, wow, that's crazy. Not, not a bad thing, but I just I expect them to look alike. You know what I mean? Yeah, she's cuter. It's okay. Hey, I didn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't say that. And what about you? What's your fun fact? Oh, boy. Um, I don't know if it's really like a fun fact. Not really. But um, I um, was born premature, so I know what these babies in Honduras go oh. through all the time. So I can really relate to How many to months them. premature, if you don't mind me asking? Seven. I was born oh, seven okay. months. Um, or s- no, yes. Or I was born seven weeks early. Sorry. Oh, okay. So, but, um, I was like, and being yeah. premature, no, no, and no, pre- no. like being yeah. premature is not being diagnosed with anything. You're just born early. Right, that's what I feel tiny. like. That's what a lot of people so. fail to, to realize, right, or fail to understand. But yeah. so you're here and you're saying I have the situation. I can relate to yeah. some of these yeah. children, so I want to get back to them. That's right. amazing. So that's amazing. Well, we appreciate you guys for coming in. Thank, Thank you for having, having us. Coming. Coming. We hope to see everybody there on Sunday. Yeah. Yeah. Boys, oh, haircuts, $5. I'm not cutting my hair, but I would give out $5. Okay. <laughs> 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 that. Even if you don't get a haircut. Even if you donate $5, you're fine. Come right. see the Just dance donate. team. They're great. Uh, Come see yeah. the dance team, free food. Yeah, Come meet my mama. Food. My mom's <laughs> going to be there. You can meet her. She's doing all the hair. <laughs> so uh, how do we pay? Uh, visa, points, yeah. EBT. He said cash. <laughs> points. <laughs> cash <laughs> only. Everybody has cash only, money. please. Yeah, cash only. Everybody Everyone wants has to cash on the weekends. So I don't want to hear. Yeah, really. It. Everyone does. Yes. Day was yesterday. You are. Right? You are right about that. You are. Well, um, thank you guys for coming. Um, we really appreciate it. Um, uh, good luck at your <clears throat> event, and we're gonna take a quick commercial break.